It wasn't so long ago that you couldn't just snap a dozen shots of your lunch and then quickly review them to make sure that you had the perfect shot of your Big Mac. To capture a moment in time as an image, you wouldn't use a camera app. You'd use a camera to record the photo onto a thing called film. And it was kind of a completely different thing. Nowadays, photos are intangible and ubiquitous. They come from the phones in our pockets and live forever on Facebook and Instagram and your defunct Flickr account. But it used to be you could only take as many photos as you had room on this film stuff. It was this dark plasticky tape that came in these black little tubes and you couldn't expose it to light, like gizmo. When you filled the tape up with photos and there was only room for like 24 or 36, you couldn't just pull them out and look at them, deleting the ones you didn't like. In fact, you'd have no idea what your photos even looked like until you took them to this shop that would print them out for you. When you got them back, everyone would crowd around to see what that vacation or party from weeks or months or even years ago looks like. The way you shared a photo with someone back then was you put it in their hands and they looked at it. Sometimes you collected your favorites in these physical books. Sometimes you'd find an envelope of photos from a summer long ago in the bottom of a shoebox, and it was like finding a time capsule. Film photos don't just look different. I mean, they do. There's something about the way they look that is undeniable. But when you only had 24 shots, you thought about them differently. You had to pick the moments that mattered to your shoot. And when you saw a photo from your life that brought you back to summer camp or college or a childhood vacation, you knew how unlikely it was to get that shot. It was once in a lifetime, and that's what made it special.